Hello everyone and welcome to the news from Shuruq TV. In our headlines tonight, Committees for Preparing Matrix continue work in Juba. Democratic Union Party welcomes agreement between Hamdok and Al-Hilo. Security and Defense Council declares a state of emergency for three months. The committees for formulating the peace agreement matrix between the Sudanese parties continue their work Saturday at the Palm Africa Hotel in Juba City by holding three meetings to discuss the matrix of political issues for the two areas, the matrix for implementation of the North Track Peace Agreement, while the third committee discussed the matrix in the transitional justice paper for that four peace agreement. Member of South Sudan Mediation, Diuma Tok, said in a press statement that the work of the committees is progressing well and that the committee for that four piece is now discussing the fifth paper. The Democratic Unionist Party origin welcomed the Declaration of Principles, which was signed in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa on Thursday, September the 3rd, between Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, the Prime Minister, and the leader of the People's Movement, North Abdulaziz Al Hilo. The party has called on all parties in the homeland to understand the current de delicate stage in its history and the importance of remaining united. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres welcomed the signing of a joint agreement between the Sudanese Prime Minister and the SPLM North leader to hold informal peace talks on the secular state in Sudan. Guterres considers this agreement a positive step, especially in the context of the initialing of the peace agreement between the government, the Sudan Revolutionary Front and the Sudan Liberation Army Minaminawi faction earlier this week, said the UN spokesman. He reiterated his commitment to supporting all efforts to achieve sustainable peace in Sudan. The deputy chairman of the People's Movement North Revolutionary Front, Yasser Arman, has pointed out that the peace agreement which was signed in initials in Juba last Monday should be owned by the Sudanese people, not the elites. Arman, interviewed by Suna, said peace is one of the major demands of the martyrs, so it should not be lost during the political competition. We need this agreement for the second institution of the transitional period, Arman stressed. He called on the Sydney's people to neglect the forces unwilling to the realization of peace in the country. <music> Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi said Saturday that his country is always ready to support Sudan, especially regarding the heavy loss it's facing due to flooding across the country. In a post on his Facebook page, Sisi declared his solidarity with Sudan's government and people. He wished a speedy recovery to the injured and condolences to the families of all those who lost to the floods. The Security and Defense Council declared a state of emergency throughout the country for a period of three months and decided considering Sudan a natural disaster area. The decision was declared at a meeting held Friday evening at a meeting of the Security and Defense Council in the Republican Palace. The state of emergency was declared by the Council after reviewing reports on the floods and standing on size of the human losses and material damage that affected 16 states of Sudan and resulted in the death of 99 citizens and the injury of 46 others. Around half a million people were affected by the floods, which had caused the total and partial collapse of more than 100,000 homes. The United Nations High Commission for Refugees said it will work for the distribution of the urgent relief items which arrived in Khartoum Friday evening as soon as possible to the floods affected refugees and displaced and the local communities. The UNHR representative in Sudan, Axel Bishop, appreciated the United Arab Emirates for transporting the relief items to Sudan. A hundred tons consignment of humanitarian support for the rains and floods victims donated by the UNHR arrived in Khartoum today. And now we remind you with the headlines. Committees for preparing matrix continue work in Juba. Democratic Union Party welcomes agreement between Hamdok and Al-Hilo. Security and Defense Council declares a state of emergency for three months. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.